this is more proof the BBC no longer stands for free, free speech, do you think? Well, I can't wait till Home Farm reaches net zero and we'll all come out in the sunshine with a nice cup of tea and look up to the sky and realise that China is still spewing out emissions <laughs> at 26%. How wonderful it's going to be. I mean, do they think we're bloody bonkers? Uh, next, I want to do something more meaningful. Your parents just died and you've inherited the farm. Plant some sodding potatoes. Do something useful. Grow some leeks. There's going to be a food yeah. shortage. Oh, tomatoes. Mm. Build a greenhouse. Grow tomatoes. We need tomatoes, evidently. Yeah, but we can't food. afford the electric to switch the polytunnels okay. on. Yeah. Um, it's just, it, you know, we've had to have Graham Norton week after week ridiculing Brexit voters. We've got Gravy Lineker ridiculing Brexit voters. Anything that goes against the narrative and their top people seem to be able to pick it to pieces. Um, there's absolutely no need to have anything about net zero. Nothing's going to happen. We're going from 1% to net zero. It's going to cause hardship. It's going to cause rising prices. And people don't want it. And nobody asked us, where's the public mandate for this? And we've got the BBC jockeying on the back of it. The science isn't even settled on this stuff. And, and just, we've got just the rem BBC. Just remind me, June, who actually <laughs> pays for the BBC? Pardon? Who actually pays for the BBC? Uh, well, I think we do. Mm, that'd I'm be it. For. Mm. Um, mm. I don't think they've any idea how the tanking support. I've got 170,000 followers on Facebook. 22,000 of those people have cancelled their TV licence oh, in the really? last four years. Wow. That's a big proportion. There were other people cancelling before then. Um, people, they're, they're fed up with it. Nobody's watching mainstream media news unless they're on GB News because they're sick of it. They're sick of Sky. They're sick of the B BBC particularly because they've got the audacity to, to ridicule us with our own money. Exactly. That's we, we why they're not very popular. <laughs> The only person I'm going to ridicule here is myself, to be honest with you, which will probably happen at some point tonight. It normally does. Uh, now, June, there's another story I want to talk to you about. Um, Hollywood is the land of the uber woke. Um, uh, probably makes the BBC look quite sort of like right wing. Um, but it seems the lefty celebs are actually eating themselves out there now. In a recent interview with the Sunday Times Culture magazine, Channel 4's end of the effing world star Jessica Barden, that's her there, no idea, to be honest with you, slammed fellow actor Emma Corrin, that's also her there, for wanting to appear in what she called a gritty film with an outrageous accent. Branding it working class tourism, what are these girls even talking about? Barden laid into so-called posh Corrin saying, a gritty means working class and feisty means you have an opinion. I die inside when I read them. Uh, June, what the hell is she talking about? Acting is acting, well, it's just pretending to be someone else, isn't it? I think she's getting at the fact that it must be easier for posh actors to get parts. I mean, if that's true, let's look at Lawrence Fox. You couldn't get much posher. And he's from an acting dynasty, and they soon cancelled him. Um, and true. he did a part when he played in White Lines, when he played a, a northern guru with this Manchester accent. He uses it on the phone to me quite a lot. Um, you're an actor. You should just turn up, audition, and if you can do it, get the job. It doesn't matter where you've come from. And if it's hard work being an actress because you're from the north of England, um, I, th I think regional people have had a pretty good hit out of the media and, you know, acting. I, I think it's a non-point to me. I cannot understand why people would even be bothered about this. So, you know, we've I got long-range missiles being sent to a place to attack someone that might attack us back. We'll be walking around Sainsbury's with our skin hanging off because we've had a new... Oh, oh, did you get nuked today? No, thankfully, it hit the bungalow behind. Um, how how did you get from posh birds to, to nuclear war, June? How do you even do that? <laughs> a, I don't know. That's a cunning link. But basically, so you can only, if you're an actor, you can only play what you actually are. So, like, working-class birds can only play working-class birds. Um, posh people can be posh people. Disabled people need to be played by disabled people. I mean, that's just mad. That's not acting. That's just wokeness gone mad. Yeah. I mean, the thing about an actor or an actress is 
you usually gravitate to a film or a series because you like the person in it. I mean, I love to watch Denzel Washington yeah. and I really like Kevin Costner, but I do do drool a bit over him. Um, I, I like the fact he's got old along with me. Um, but you watch the person that you like to watch and it's nothing to do with where they're from. I mean, I haven't got a clue where Denzel Washington's from. I, I don't even know these two young girls. I remember the one no, on the right neither. that was in um, The Crown. She, Go for the job. If they like you for the job, take the job. 